Hey guys, real quick, sorry if the audio is a little yucky. My mic broke so I'm using my brothers and allergies have me really congested. I'm also having the quiet mic problem again, so I'm having to boost the audio on post, so sorry about any weird peaking or popping. Anyway, Gaumon reached out to me again to review the 2018 version of their M10K drawing tablet. This is the newest version and at the time of creating this video, it's still on pre-order. When they shipped the tablet to me, they had limited packaging designed for the newest M10K, so they sent the tablet in different packaging than it would be in normally. To avoid any confusion or misrepresentation, I'll skip the unboxing part, but I'll still show you the items I've received. So first, there's the tablet itself, which is a pretty good size and has a decent weight to it. It isn't heavy, but it feels sturdy and solid. It has a little sleeve on the edge for holding the tablet pen, which actually holds the pen really well. Normally, I wouldn't feel comfortable carrying the pen in the sleeve, but I shook the tablet pretty violently and the pen only budged a little, which is shocking because it slips into the sleeve easily as well. It fell out eventually, but unless you walk really aggressively, I think it would be fine to store the pen in the sleeve when you're taking it somewhere. The tablet also has 10 express keys, which you can program however you like, and it also comes with a touch ring. The touch ring isn't programmable, but you press the circle button in the center to change between zooming in and out, adjusting the size of your brush, or scrolling a page in your browser. All you do is slide your finger clockwise or counterclockwise in the ring and adjust those values for you, which is one of my personal favorite features on tablets. On the back of the tablet are four rubber feet to prevent the tablet from slipping when you're using it. Then there's the pen, which came in a nice little felt case. The pen is battery free and requires no charging. It's very light so your hand won't tire out and it's comfortable to hold. It doesn't have a workable eraser on the end, but it does have two programmable buttons on the side, which I use to switch between eraser and pen instead. There's another felt pouch containing eight replacement nibs and a ring for moving pen nibs. A micro USB cable to connect your tablet to your computer since it's not wireless. The cord going into the tablet is angled, which helps protect the cord from getting damaged from being bent. A little bag containing a warranty card slash thank you note, of which they cover a one year warranty, as well as a card telling you where to download the drivers on their site and a quick start guide to setting up your tablet and knowing the functions. And they sent the glove! I left the glove I already have with family in a different state, so I was happy to receive one so I could use it with this tablet. It feels thicker and slightly more fitted than the glove I have, but I can't remember what brand it is and I can't directly compare them either. It seems that the tip of the fingers are a little thick, but once I started drawing I didn't really notice them. Overall it's pretty comfortable and I like using it. I didn't realize it until writing the script actually that Amazon lists a carrying bag as well as one of the contents. I didn't receive one, and after some snooping I didn't see it mentioned in other tablet reviews either. I wasn't expecting to receive it, and I wasn't expecting a glove either, so I'm not going to ask for it because I received the tablet for free anyway. I double checked to make sure I didn't look it over, and I don't know if it's because they left it out of reviewer packaging or something, but for full transparency I just wanted to mention it. So installing the driver was a little different for me this time. I was actually asked to help review two different drivers for the tablet, and they ended up publishing the driver I personally felt was more stable and comfortable. Installing the drivers takes only a couple minutes, which is amazing, and from there you just plug the tablet in and it's ready to go. Drawing with the tablet feels very natural and comfortable, and all curves and changes and pressure are very smooth. I've been working a lot without pen pressure recently, so I feel a little out of practice with it, but it feels great when you control the weight of your lines to such a fine degree. It has 8192 levels of pressure, and the tablet reads a pen from a height of 10mm, so it feels incredibly accurate to draw with. The surface of the tablet is smooth as well, but also matte, giving it a more paper-esque feel. The pen also has a softer matte surface, which feels nice in your hand. The tablet does do this weird thing though, where if the tablet is over your touchpad, the cursor freaks out and rapidly clicks in some corner of the screen. If the tablet is plugged in and on, and you make the mistake of setting it on your laptop keyboard, it has the potential of trying to close out whatever's open, or at least mess it up. I don't see this as a big issue, as normally you don't use a tablet with it propped up on your keyboard, but I just wanted to throw that warning out there. Almost every program will prompt you if you try to close it without saving, so the most I've lost from this is it closing my browser out or shrinking it to a weird, skinny rectangle. The only real con is that, like my previous drivers, the cursor does freeze in my Photoshop, Psy, and TV Paint, but it does work just fine in Krita and Fire Alpaca. I know it doesn't do this for everybody, however, and with previous drivers there are solutions, so I'm sure there will be for this driver too. But working with different drivers, I realized that, with no driver installed, the tablet didn't freeze and sometimes worked in programs it hadn't before. It actually worked perfectly in TV Paint without a driver installed, which is really weird. The express keys won't work without a driver, but if you're desperate and need to use a certain program, I can recommend trying to use a tablet without a driver installed. So overall, I'm surprised actually at how great this tablet feels. Other than my struggle with program compatibility, I honestly can't find anything that stands out negatively about this tablet. It just all around feels great, and it's easy to set up. For both beginners and professionals, I feel like I can confidently recommend this tablet if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. It's simple, it's easy, it's a good size, it's comfortable, and it just draws so well. I can't say how this tablet will stand the test of time, because I've only had it a few weeks, but it works and it works really well. 
I haven't had a single malfunction nor a weird quirk with drawing, which means I haven't had to mess with the driver at all either. I'm seriously impressed because usually I have such bad luck with technology. I'll probably curse myself by saying this, but this tablet is seriously nearly perfect for what it is. If you want a number rating, I'd probably give it a solid 8 or 9 out of 10, and it's one of the best non-screen tablets I've worked with. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself, the 2018 M10K has a 5% off coupon on Amazon US and Canada until December 5th. There's promotions for their other tablets too, which I'll throw on screen, and all the links are in the description. I don't get anything from you guys clicking on the links, so I was just asked to pass some promotional information. Tis the season. If you have any questions about this tablet or what I'm doing in the drawing, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video.